to quote well, a very beautiful are. woman I know, it's all butt cheeks and titty meat. It's sick and Larry ignore a topic. Uh, yeah, my wife was uh, quite quite pleased that I just kept talking about her butt cheeks and titty meat. I wasn't going to call her out, but since you did it. Booty cheeks, titty meat. Um, speaking of which, I realized uh, what shirt I was wearing. Uh, my my poor decision pills. Uh, I, mean, I, I can't really see it with the everything in front of it. Yeah, it's uh, it's just a chicken uh, and lingerie with surrounded by knives, dice, uh, playing cards, um, <laughs> advertising the poor decisions Pilsner from Buzz Bomb Beer. Regrettably, that is the theme of several of my tattoos. No knives, no dice, but cards and naked broads yeah. in a Sailor Jerry kind of style. Yeah, I got that. Yep, that's what this is, too. It's a very Sailor Jerry kind of style. The worst part about my tattoos is that I don't feel bad about them. Like, I should really feel bad about the fact that I'm about to have a daughter at 45, and I have the word fuck tattooed under a naked angel on my calf. I'm like, no, I think it's fine. I, I will take her to kindergarten with that. I don't care. Yeah, absolutely. That's nobody's business but yours. Yeah, and conceivably every other parent's. And the Turks. <laughs> That's nobody's business. But, but the Turks. Uh, how's, the, how's your... It, it's been a whole week since we've talked. <laughs> yes, yes. It's been a whole three days. Uh, I'll tell you, in the last three days, we actually have done some things. Mostly just because uh, on the 15th of this month, is my fifth anniversary. So it's really no big deal, but like we wanted to go do, we had planned a whole thing earlier, but now that Ange is, you know, seven and a half months pregnant, we're not going to go flying anywhere. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Because we don't want her to pop. (laughs) Right. (laughs) <laughs> yeah what was that that was the pregnant broad in, in row c <laughs> what do we do get him up um <laughs> get him up at a priest uh so we uh, had some complimentary peanuts yep we found a uh, a little chicago style steakhouse we're actually kind of excited about it in saint pete with one of those like silly celebrity chefs um that you see on tv but he's like part owner of it but i looked at the uh the menu looks spectacular and uh, there is no dress code. It's like, in a, like a little uh, historic neighborhood, big, big fans. So we're going to do that. And then so, we're just going to go take a, a, a two hours from here. going to drive to a little Ibni town, most likely very similar to our town and just take a overnight trip. And we got an Airbnb and we're just going to dick around. We're going to go to a different market, which is probably very similar to the market we always go to. We're going to take our little dog because he's close to death. And we're going to just, you know, walk around, have a nice dinner, just, you know, have a, a mini five-year anniversary uh, vacay, uh, which I think is kind of cool. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Uh, also, um, I hope she doesn't hear that she won't, but, uh, and she doesn't listen to this podcast, so it's fine. But, uh, we had talked about, cause we don't really do presents for each other all that much. Uh, we do mostly like we put money into a kitty for trips or we put money into a kitty for like this nice, uh, thing that we want to buy for, you know? So we decided that we're not going to do it this time. So this time I'm going to be a dick and I actually did buy her something. I bought her an earring and a diamond uh, pendant and morganite set morganite is a semi-precious stone mm-hmm. but she says that her favorite color is peach so i found it if you put morganite in rose gold it is the only thing that uh, precious stone that looks like the color peach so i got her as a nice understated couple of studs and this beautiful pendant and i'm pretty sure she's gonna melt that's fantastic good for yeah. you, and the joke of that is i peed on it yeah. that's there's no there's no joke there i just i'm just trying to throw one in sure sure i uh i was just looking at the calendar because you know my my anniversary is uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. shortly after after yours uh we it, ours is on a wednesday um the following weekend um i have uh gigs and uh nicole is uh saving lives on the ambulance so um and then the mm-hmm. weekend after that uh looks like uh um we uh we have yep yeah, uh, i've got more gigs um, <laughs> well. and then the weekend after that some some friends are getting married and i'm performing the ceremony uh so uh the weekend after that is are you gonna night. perform it as a mime 
Yes. I've done a couple of ceremonies myself, and I feel like when you do it as a mime, you really, really make everybody mad, but in a funny to only you way. And then you have to escape. Yeah. Um, I've already got my escape route planned. Um, Good. I'm going to shoot my way out. <laughs> it's a bunch of liberals, a whole lot of liberals. None Nobody of will be armed. No, no, just me. See, that's the thing. That's a couple different... of hipsters will have like a, a Swiss army knife. Yeah, and yeah. that's fine. That's fine. We'll let them. I'll even let them get close. But uh, we're liberals. Be... No, no, I'm a leftist. There's a difference. <laughs> what, is, what is the difference in your mind? Uh, when you go far enough left, you get your guns back. <laughs> um, liberals uh, are uh, li- liberals. Did I tell you? Uh, yeah. Did I tell you? About, I bought a gun. Did I tell you? No. Of course not, because I'm sane. Why would I do that? Uh, but... Aha! Boom! Aha! Stupid, stupid ass. Stupid <laughs> ass. Stupid <laughs> because ass. have you seen what else owns guns? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not opposed to it. I just haven't gotten around to it. Right. <laughs> Literally, that's it. All just like of... one pistol. But I'm like, uh, it seems like a whole big thing. I Look, most of mine were gifted to me, so they were. I don't, really... want, I don't want to live a life where somebody says, "Here's your gift." It's a fucking killing machine. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> I see, and that's the difference between you and I. If you're looking for any way to tell us apart, um... your dad was a bounty hunter. My dad was a failed English teacher. So yeah, you can definitely tell the difference yeah. there. Yeah, that's 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 difference number one. Um, mm-hmm. So that's why when someone goes, here's this gun, I'm not going to say no, it's insulting. <laughs> uh, so um, I'll just say it. This is the episode back. West Virginia and Connecticut, you were great. Ohio, where were you again? Still, I'm still mad at you, Ohio. But, God damn it, Ohio. Um, yeah, you guys were great. Let's say great. Let's. I'm still a big fan of Sierra Leone, though. They're tuning in. Yeah, thank you, Sierra Leone. <laughs> thank you, the, the some expat that probably is there hiding. Totally fine. I promise to learn something about your country. I, I'm I'm glad you pointed out that it was a real place. I didn't believe it. I can pick it out on a map. I can also tell you that me and my brother had a spectacular time with a band called the Sierra Leone uh, Refugee All-Stars several years ago, and Drew still keeps uh, contact with one of them. Amazing African-influenced reggae band, and no, oh, those yeah. things are... Yeah, but yeah. They're, they're, yeah, spectacular. And if you're listening, thank you, Sade. <laughs> thank uh, no, you. That's, no, that's that's one of the guy's names. Ah, exactly. Yeah. You meant the other singer name. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. it's, it's one of the gentlemen who. Smooth <laughs> operator. Correct. Same name. Uh, uh, gentleman who fronts the band. Operator. I, I, I'm, su- I'm even shocked that my head can stay that still while my body moves. I, uh, I'm. It's spectacular. I'm... It, it almost seems like you have a rod infused <laughs> into your spine. <laughs> I, I do uh, you know, at least twice a month. Uh, because I'm I'm really working hard to drop some 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 chubbiness um and get back into into That's shape. True. Um and so but I'm also in my forties, so twice a month I do something that makes me move like Michael Keaton's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely more lithe than you will ever be. <laughs> it's uh, Oh, I see. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I, <laughs> you want to be able to move your neck. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I can't move my. I'll I'll. <laughs> oh, look up. Oh fuck. Ah oh, ah. No, that's. <laughs> it's all fine. It's all V two and eight. And yep. I don't, oh, I don't yeah. know the spot. I don't know how you number them, but I'm guessing those are the. Uh, none, of that, none of that matters. I'm wrong. None of it. I'm, I'm wrong. And mo- for most of our listeners, speaking of which, uh, James Rose, shout out to you. Sorry, buddy. I haven't I haven't gotten back to you uh, by the time I, I will try to get back to you before this episode airs. But uh, he's been sending some fun stuff, so just wanted to give him a little shout out. Uh, TD still has uh, eight toes, so he... nice. Hi, TD. Hi, TD. So eight, the eight remain. Um, Hi, A D T. How do you T A D T A D T A D? The Ocho. 
The Ocho. TD the Ocho. <laughs> I would watch that. I would watch that so much. TD, uh, spectacular, just not on moving ships. <laughs> uh, by the way, parent weekend or family weekend is coming up at uh, at Bradley. She just got there. They, they do it a month in. Uh, they recommend. Don't roll your eyes. No, no, I no. I, I'm just saying from like a kid's standpoint. Like I just got here. Dad's coming back again. Uh, see, she was going to come visit me this weekend. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just saying, like, for a kid, nah, like, maybe it's just me, though. I like being left the fuck alone. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, it's it's family. I told her, I was like, just wait till, wait one more week, unless you need something from home. Wait one more week, I will bring you pancakes. So I'm <laughs> I'm bringing a, a, a whole batch of, of, of frozen pancakes that I've, that I put together. The uh, three different styles. Yes. Nice. Actually, got to do it. If 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 you if you do it up, you got to do it right. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. No, I, the crepes weren't going to freeze correctly, so she's just getting two. Oh. She's getting. She's getting. Yeah, I can see that. Yep. She's getting medium fluffers and thick boys. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna take some medium fluffers and thick boys to my daughter. <laughs> what the fuck? Eighteen. <laughs> I uh I just shove them in her mouth. We are looking at the things that you do on you know on family weekend, and we're like, mm-hmm. we're all gonna be making fun of all of this the entire yeah, what, time. What do you do? You go around and look at stuff. I mean, like you could look at like the architecture, and landscaping, and maybe just take a nice walk around the quad. I don't know what. It's, what we'll do is, is it's it's you know the excuse to come up and visit. They have some food trucks, so we'll gorge ourselves for nice. lunch. Um, they have, I guess, they'll have games out on the lawn, so we'll we'll uh you know we play the games and you hang out. And I think they've got like a band or something. Nicole looked it all up and told me, um, and I went, great. Um, what time do I have to be up on Saturday morning? <laughs> um, <laughs> although I do love, I guess Friday night, there's a comedian slash magician slash contortionist and same person. Yeah. Yeah. Same dude. Oh, not, not like a variety show. Same. No, he's his no. own variety show. And, uh, uh I said something to Willow. I was like, you know, we could come over on Friday and we could go to, she's like, no, I've looked him up. No, I'm not going. No, I refuse. Cause I refuse to sit next to you to listen to you critique his jokes. <laughs> and I'm like, Hey, good call. I'm going to, he's definitely cornering the market on circus comedy. Right. Yeah. He could be good. It could be entertaining. You know what? It's, de- it's definitely kitschy, but you Absolutely. know, it- if I could put my legs behind my head and tell a fart joke at the same time and make it work, I'm going to use it. Use yeah. every tool you have in the shed. He's been he's been on uh, Fool Us. Pen oh, and, I uh, love that show. Yeah, the Penn yeah, Teller, the Penn Teller yeah. show. So you know, I mean, he's not all. He, I, he's not. It's just not my. It's, it's not my thing. I, it's I totally somebody's respect thing. that. There's it's somebody's thing. Uh, I. The older I get, the more I'm like, I'm done critiquing somebody. If they're crushing it or if they're doing what they like, fuck it. It makes somebody else laugh and nobody's getting hurt and it's not it's not aggressively ignorant. Fuck, yeah. go for it. Yeah, man, why not? Same. I can. I am all about, that's not for me. That's does, Not everything's for me. I don't have to like it. I can no. critique it, but then I can but still why? go, eh. Yeah. If somebody but wants why? to have a discussion about it, you know, I can. Why don't? Why isn't it for you? Well, here's the things that I don't. Uh, but for the most part, I don't have the time nor energy. No, exactly. It was like uh, not for me. Do you enjoy it? Groovy, go for it. I'm like that way with uh, the same way I'm like with grapefruit. You know what I mean? I'm like I hate it. Do you dig it? Have some. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be over here. I'll yeah. be at the other end of the buffet, <laughs> away from the grapefruit. Yeah, I don't like fine. grapefruit. Flavoring. It's not my thing. I don't like bo- it. Its existence does not upset me. No, no, no. Consume it at your leisure. I'll be over it, here. It's all oh. about yeah. What's what do you like? What do you not like? That's and now we know what I like. Butt stuff. You know what else I like? Aggressive butt stuff. You know what else? What else I like? Split society. Uh, there it is. Mm. What do they do, Larry? 
They are the purveyors of fine. Hand rolled by artisan toasted palm leaf spliff. That is their flagship. They have multiple. Conceivably, they host the show. They uh, sponsor. We host. They sponsor. (laughs) You know what, though? Maybe. Yeah, maybe we should let somebody else host this show for a while. I mean, once in a while. (laughs) Just let's. Once in a bit. Just let somebody else do it for us. They. Uh, I feel like we used to be invited on other people's shows, and now we're not. <laughs> now, now yeah, some of the other people that we got invited on, I think I insulted, and they don't listen. They don't like me anymore. So ah, uh, I un- well, what are you gonna do? It was unintentional. I thought that I was making a joke. They took it not as a joke. That's on me. I uh, you know, they whoops, oopsie doodles. That's what I say. And, but yeah, if they if that's the case, I'm sorry. And you know what we should do? We should sit down and enjoy some Spliff Society and hash it all out. <laughs> Unintentional pun. Hashing. Hash. Hash. Christ, I'm hungry. SpliffSociety.org. Um, check them out. They uh, they got all types of stuff. Uh, mostly for smoking weed, some of it for wearing, so and some of it for grinding, uh, and some of it for stashing, and some of it for separating. Check out their website, spliffsociety.org. Mm. And if you're in Springfield, Illinois, or some other places, um, you can check out, uh, but if you're in Springfield, you can check out Prairie State Hemp. They have a whole display. Whole display of split society let this happen and it is absolutely outstanding you're not going to believe this this is not written copy i'm breathing this in as he's exuding it you're what i you're gonna want to so it is in a neon display they Rum cones, shine, goji berry, cocoa. Oh yeah, it's a going down. Going down the rabbit hole. And get some shit and smoke it up, baby. <laughs> In splitsociety.org, I am pumped for him. Never gonna buy this. Yes, <laughs> never once. It, I don't I, like I I don't I can't imagine anything is going to like. Keep, I don't even know if Bradford knows we're doing this still. Fair, fair. Use promo code Zig and Larry at uh, checkout, and we'll see if the checks keep coming. Yeah, checks keep coming and they don't stop coming. Hey, R.I.P. Lead singer of Smash Mouth. Uh, you know what? I miss him more than jimmy buffett but i miss them both not at all oh i thought you liked buffett i did for a second Mm -hmm. and then i was like "Eh." and then i saw margaritaville i was like oh no that's what you did it's it's totally fine you know what i i would sell out on that level if i could love a margaritaville but i love that type of shit i love kitschy shit I don't like it. I, I lived. I worked at Joe's Crab Shack too long, so I, I can't deal with it. Um, I don't mind Buffett anymore. I just like, eh, I'm glad he's gone. If I never hear the song Margaritaville again, I'm fine. Uh, I made the mistake of going to the fucking beach the weekend that he died, and everybody with a fucking Bluetooth speaker, everything was uh, Margaritaville, and if you were lucky, Cheeseburger in Paradise. I do with that song even less, but there are some really great songs that uh, that he has a lot of stuff that wasn't super popular or other people made it popular my ears are sweating these headphones make my ears sweat mm, I, I find that attractive about you i know i know you do mm-hmm. um hey yeah hold on i'm only talking to you why do you feel like you have to grab my Welcome back. Seamless. Seamless. Uh, neighbor Meat kids. catchers. Meat catchers. Um, if you hear me out of breath, it's because I ran up and down the stairs and had to move some stuff around. The neighbor kid uh, was hired to mow the other neighbor's yard, um, went to uh, start the mower, 
and uh the the string just came out apparently oh okay can i borrow your more i was like if you've got gas <laughs> oh, okay I, I got no gas can but yeah let me get you the mowers so that's that's where we are right now we so the neighbor kids trying to make a couple of bucks yep and then pounded on on because i because mom and dad aren't home and just came to me was like um i'm sorry to bother you and i'm like you're you're fine dude uh here's the mower um it, it's not been started for a while so <laughs> Good luck. I'm sorry if it doesn't work. Um, hey, you know I appreciate that though. He's just like, hey man, uh, give a brother a hand. Yeah, trying uh, to make a buck. <laughs> it costs you nothing but kindness, sir. Yeah, it took it took what three minutes? I think four minutes to yeah to, to talk to the kid, move some stuff, and go. Here's the mower. <laughs> he stole that, by the way. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Um, okay, <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah, you can please take it. It was cheap. I uh, I want a riding mower anyway because I want to be able to drink a beer while I, while I mow my yard. If you can't put a beer and a hat in a funnel and mow your own yard, you're not a man. Yeah, I've done it for years. Now it's time to really. I, I, I put a, uh, they make these um little like beverage, like cup holders for a mower. Mine works ish because my mower is electric. Mm-hmm. But still, on the turns, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. You have to pick it up on the turn. It's, it's just not. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I know we've got a big enough yard. That, but here's the thing, you know, we're looking at moving anyway, eventually. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I, I probably should have just thrown this kid, like, 20 bucks. I and mean, been like, I don't know, mow the front yard and as much of the backyard as you think 20 bucks. <laughs> For the renting of this. You got to mow my front yard. Um, Seems like you're in need, and I have a service. <laughs> you're in need, and I'm lazy. How about <laughs> this? Is called what the fuck you, kid? Sorry. So here's what happens. Sorry about that, kid. Uh, so you are familiar with the movie, uh huh? Rooster's Millions. Well, you you gave me a heads up today, and we don't usually give each other a heads up. I'm just gonna say you did because that's fair. Yeah. I am. I stupidly enough, I had a very busy day at work, so I didn't get to do a lot of research. I didn't get to do a lot of planning because I had to do a little bit of work and I had to play some video games. But yes, I am familiar with the movie. I've seen it, but probably not for ten years. Okay. Well, um, the for those that aren't familiar with Brewster's Millions, um, Richard Pryor and John Candy are. Uh, I, they're they're uh, minor league baseball players um, for some reason. <laughs> because and that, they could have been anything for this movie, by the way. And it takes place in Chicago, if I don't. Yeah, I remember it. Uh, uh, yes, no, you're right. Yeah, um, they are. Uh, uh, sorry, Richard Pryor's billionaire uncle, um, who is white. Thank you very Obviously. much. Obviously, yep. Because in the 1980s, we can't have a black man be rich, but a but a, a white. It doesn't matter. It's convoluted. It's it's. Let's just call it uh, the trading places miracle. Yes, yes, and uh, he will inherit. Richard Pryor will inherit 300 million dollars. Mm-hmm. But first, if if he can spend 30 million in 30 days. It is that, bananas. It's ridiculous. Um, I had heard another podcast make a passing reference of Brewster's Millions. A passing reference. Mm-hmm. And I went, oh yeah, Brewster's Millions. And so I watched multiple, because this is what my little ADHD monkey brain does. It then was like, oh, we should watch several clips of this. <laughs> sure. Realize how bananas it is. And then fantasize about how I would spend the money. Um, okay, so here, uh, A, oh. I, I really want to watch it again because um, you can't go wrong with a B movie from prior, period, end of, st- end of sentence. With John Candy, come on. Mm-hmm. No, no. It's one of those that you forget exists. You're like, oh, shit, yeah, that's, that, that falls in the vein of the stuff that I like. 
in our genre when we were kids. But so here's my question. So uh, you haven't brought up the premise. You told me the premise. I'll, I'll here. What's the premise? Well, and so the game. you get, but you can't own any assets by the end of the 30 days. Mm-hmm. You can have no assets. You can't destroy the money. Um, you can't gift it. Um, you can't give it to charity. And you can't tell anyone about the money. You just spend the money. Um, so, so are we still saying today's... So so the game you told to me was we're going to play Bruiser's Millions. Huh. How would you deal with this? Yeah. Are we still saying it's $30 million? Or yeah. are we... Or are we just adjusting for inflation? I'm not adjusting for inflation. Perfect. Okay. So I've been gifted $30 million. And also Bruce's Millions, I will say, because I, I re-looked it up, you can give, and I want to bring this up, because you can't give 5% to charity, according to him. You can also blow 5% on gambling, because that was part of the, the plot of the movie, which I think is a very interesting plot in, in the 80s. Like, well... You can give five percent and throw it away on bullshit like charity. Another five percent and throw it away on bullshit like gambling. <laughs> and that was the basic idea. It's like, well, you know, the homeless and gambling, it's roughly the same, and I give you ten percent of this whole thing. So three million you can piss on. Outside of that, huzzah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the fucking mon- monopoly, Uncle. You know what I mean? It's like tee tee with somebody with a monocle. <laughs> Oh, somebody's going to tell us what his actual name is. Uh, it's Dr. Monocoly. Yes. Mon- yeah, Dr. Monocoly. Yep, Dr. Monocoly. Uh, he made his uh, his money in, uh, in, in orthopedic monocles. <laughs> I believe real estate. <laughs> yep, that was the obvious that I... <laughs> Orthopedic monocles. You know, it's a hard, it's a hard industry to break into because it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I'm the only, uh, I'm the only one. Okay, so the game is we have thirty million dollars, and we have to get rid of it in thirty days. Yes. And if we do without having any assets, anything to show for it, correct? Yeah. We get the grand prize, which is three hundred million. I forget, like, can't you just take the 30 million and run? Be like, I'm fine with 30. That's my first question. I think it has to be, if he doesn't spend it, he gets nothing. Okay. Okay. I think you, because I think that was part of it, wasn't it? Where it's like, okay, well, if I just take the 30 million, well, we have people that will find you. um, And then you get nothing. You get nothing. Um, Good day, sir. Good day, sir. So, um, I will admit that I started doing like real math and research, Ooh. and then I got real bored with doing that and started making things up. I did not do a whole lot of real math because you gave me this during the middle of work day. And like I said, I was playing video games and drinking. So, I think that we should probably tag team this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's possible that we're a team doing this, and we can blow thirty million in thirty days without having any assets at the end of it. I have a, I have a very good feeling. I, I think, so. I think so. I like your idea though that we we talk about like day one, day two, and then we you know just break it down. Yeah. What do we immediately do? Okay. Couple. So I'm ready to play when you are. Um. You go ahead. Do you want me to start, or do you want to start? Uh, I'd like to start if you don't mind. By, by all means, please. Somebody hands me thirty million dollars and says, "All those rules that we already discussed." The first thing I want to do it, in my home state of Florida, and I have no idea how much it would cost, but don't worry, I have ways to get rid of all this money at the end of the month. <laughs> that's my go. But that's my that's my um strategy. Is I'm gonna do all this bullshit. We'll figure out how much it costs at the end of the money month. I'll be like, ah, I got this whole dump. Uh, I'm going to rent out Bush Gardens for one week. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's call it three days, but it has to be a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It has to be during the school year. Okay, and I'm going to invite all of the local Florida children mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to come to Bush Gardens for free, and there will be free um, 
admission, free food, free rides, and all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to have a big pen for the parents. This is, has to be during the school year. I'm going to have a big pen for the parents, and that's the champagne room. And I'm talking the most expensive Hennessy champagne and whiskey. I'm going to find fucking whiskey that has been dredged up from the bottom of the ocean and give it to these people. I'm going to let them lose their fucking minds for three days. Mm -hmm. As long as over the PA system, it's you and I for the Florida youth saying things like, it's okay to say and be gay. Christopher Columbus was actually a murderer. Don't worry about it. Do, 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 do. And then I'm going to uh, pay for all of the people who do drag brunch to have a big parade every day, every hour on the hour, all the way through the park and pass out candy and Tootsie Rolls and just hugs to all the people because they just want to be wonderful. That's my job is to have all the children unindoctrinated by the lunacy. I think couple, first couple days. Amazing first couple days. Um, Hopefully a mill. I would say that's easily what two. I don't know. The problem is Bruce's millions was in the eighties, so like if we're not in, for inflation, you know. This is but, it, we're playing Brewster's millions, but to by today's standards. Yeah. So that's 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 my first three days. That's a couple of mil right there. That's a couple. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where I'm at. Okay. What do you got? Um. Do we do we want to keep track of this? conceivably if you want i'm not gonna okay great good 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 because <laughs> we're gonna run out of money pretty quick i love that they that is you're socially conscious and that's the first thing that you want to do don't um, worry some of this shit is really terrible uh the first thing i'm going to do is rent nicholas cage <laughs> he is for rent there's no no chance he's not for rent i'm guessing that's a it's a that's an easy five mil that i'm you know what? I want to rent Nicolas Cage for like two weeks. And uh, what do you want him to do? Yeah, just hang out, be Nicolas Cage. Okay. I want to get real drunk or and or high, and just hang with Nicolas Cage. He would do it. I mean, I, the problem is, is that you're not trying to bargain for the best price. So no. I know I know what he'd probably do it for because he will do kind of anything. Yeah, get you know. I'm again. I'm thinking five mil. For two weeks, hmm? I mean that's easy. That's easy money. That's actually the premise for his most recent movie. It is, and Pedro I, Pascal. I just realized, like, yeah. I, when I started thinking about it, but I'm like, no, it's still, it still stands. I still want to rent. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. So that's uh, that's that's day one. I just yeah. figure out how to rent Nicolas Cage, and then you, we rent out Bush Gardens and we unindoctrinate. We unindoctrinate. It's just and. It's not just our voices all the time, like Big Brother. It's just like, hey, just you know, it's okay to be trans, and here's the Wiggles. You know, it's stuff like that. You know, it's just like, yeah, just that's it. And then just have like, <laughs> yeah, just like you just have a, a groovy people who don't promote hate, wandering around, offering people a fucking nice waffle cone with Rocky Road in it, sure. and and that's it, and not a creepy way. And then say, hey, do you want to ride this thing? Hey, by the way, we got giraffes. Isn't it cool to live this way? I'm like, yeah, it fucking is. We got gay penguins. Yeah. Okay. They're just like regular penguins. You don't give a shit. Yeah. Just look at the penguins. Yeah. All right. What's your next thing? I, You know, instead of going by day and figuring it all out, all you right. with your next thing. We'll just go back and forth. Okay. I have a few talking points, so I, I, I'm i not sure what it's going to take. Uh, number one, I hate that I'm going to do this, but I have to do it if I'm going to blow some money. Everywhere I go is going to be a rented G2. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's going to destroy the environment. But once I'm done, I'm going to spend twice as much back into the environment. But I have to do that in order to get the money. Uh -huh. So, and then I'm going to be jerking off in the, in the, in the seats the entire time. But $11,000 per billable flight hour. Um, uh, not for the one I want. Well, see, maybe I didn't. <laughs> I am. Okay, so, so, but we had we had a similar thing going because it was going to be get on a plane, go here, go there. The one I want is similar to that, but a little bit bigger. It has Taylor Swift singing at me a cappella the entire time. I have no assets at the end of this. The goals have no assets at the end, and that's not an asset going in. I'm just guessing she's the most expensive nonsense. 
Yes. Oh, absolutely. Just singing that song constantly. Karma is a girl. Karma, because it won't stay out of my car, so might as well be my fucking G two. Uh, this is just something uh, like I I don't need to be um, magnanimous magnanimous anymore. Uh, this is something I've always wanted to do. I would like to hold court over the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set up uh, some manner of big stadium, and I'm going to hear people's pleas. And if I enjoy them, I will pay their legal fees to get them out of trouble. Is that considered charity, though? Uh, I believe it's. it depends on the rules. I'm going to need a ruling on it. I'm not sure if it's considered charity because I'm paying the lawyers a fee for their service. Yeah, fair, fair. But, you know, if you're paying, I'm not trying to split hairs. I'm, I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the rules are. So, I mean, it's it's, it's something to keep uh, to keep in mind. When this happens to us, if legal, when this happens, to us, if legal to the terms of the agreement, that's what I would like to do. I would like to pay the lawyers mm-hmm. to get mostly lunatics and psychopaths, but not like dangerous psychopaths, just people who like got in trouble for trying to build a rocket and blowing up somebody's farm. I want them to get them off uh, out of trouble. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, my next thing, mm-hmm. I want to rent Rain Wilson. You're renting people. Your whole thing is renting people. Hear I me? Didn't, I, didn't, okay, I, figured. I want Rain Wilson because um, I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be at my house, but I want him to sit in my front yard in a lawn chair with a cooler. With, and he has access to my home where he can go in and out. And, uh, and he can just live here for a month. Um, and he sits in the front yard with a paint gun, uh, with a paintball gun. And anybody who speeds past, and he's got a radar gun and a paintball gun, if they speed, he lights them up. Um, and and then, yeah, Rain Wilson just, and, and the wind where they pull over and they stop and they go, wait, weren't you the dude from the office? And he goes, <laughs> yeah. And then he rain, sh- rain with two ends for no reason. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's uh, that's my next thing. So you're renting humans. You're, you're, you're... <laughs> that's got to be for a whole month for Rain Wilson to live in my home, shooting shooting cars with paintballs. That's a that's an ten mil right there. <sighs> I'm not sure what he's going for. Uh, I mean, I I was going to put it closer, like one point five, but I don't know. Obviously, there's no way to quantify this. Right, right, right. But it, it doesn't matter. Um, so you went for a more specific uh, joke way, and I, I actually thought about this. No, uh, well, okay. no, you thought about it too. That came out wrong. I, no, I'm I'm going to go back to to the stuff. Say I'm going back and forth. I'm going joke to the real stuff because, like, we already you already mentioned the 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 luxury jet. First thing I had in mind. Yeah, like, obviously, you take that everywhere. You take that. You just fire it up. You fire every time. You just like pay a guy to fire it up. I don't even take off. Mm-hmm. It's like five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy. It costs seven hundred fifty thousand dollars to blow a balloon out of the sky. So you know. Well, okay. So here's here's one of the things I actually did look up. Mm-hmm. There's one of the most expensive private islands that you can that you can uh, rent. It comes with uh, with at least twenty eight staff. But I want to bring twenty of my closest friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd, and so we're going to need at least double the staff. Um, so we're looking average with 28 staff. You're looking at 730 grand a week. <laughs> double the staff. Um, I'm just, I'm guessing we're looking at, you know, close to a mil a week. Um, and then I'm going to, par- you know, definitely give every staff member 20%, at least a 20% tip at the end um you know so that they uh they they feel like they're appreciated Uh, because by the time we get done with that private island in that month they're going to have earned every cent of that tip (laughs) true i what we're learning is that it's much easier to blow 30 million dollars in 2023 than it was in 1983 absolutely yeah uh because you got to think big um and one of my thing was, like you said, um, uh, hiring like staff, 
um, and hiring like, uh, so for me, I was thinking like hiring staff. Yeah, I want to, uh, they're kind of connected. I want to hire um, a chef, which will be huge. I kind of want to hire that idiot salt pay, but I want to hire him and see how much money it would cost him to make a YouTube video to just make macaroni and cheese without his stupid sunglasses on and pour it all over his chest. Cause that man can be bought. So I want to do that. Yeah. I can't. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cause I had the same, a similar idea. We're going to have private chefs. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, but here is, here's my list of private chefs for the month mm -hmm. that, while we fly to go do other things, we come back to the private island and they will, each one, they'll have to work together to make the menu and figure out who's cooking what. Um, Guy Fieri, though, is only allowed to cook after 10 p.m. when we're all so drunk we can't see straight. That's his jam. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. I need my drunk food. I want Michael Voltaggio, uh, Aaron May, uh, Brian Malarkey, Antonio LaFassa. I want, those are my people. I've looked up guy, a uh, hundred grand a day to, uh, to, to be a private chef. That's uh, what he charges mm -hmm. to make fucking chili Mac. Yeah. Fucking I mean, best okay. The best. Yeah. It, it, oh, but it's not, a, there's yeah. no such thing as, okay. Good. Uh, Aaron May is only charging like 15 grand. Tagio's close to 25. That's for his, like, his speaking engagement, so I'm going to guess it's right around the same thing. Okay. Uh, Brian Malarkey, close up to 40 grand. Um, mm, okay. About 25. Uh, I would pay her 40 grand to wrestle her. We're going to give her a million and we're both going to wrestle her. At one at a time. Give her a chance. Oh, she'll have it. Me first, because because you're gonna. But me first, because I I kind of want to be. Is she gonna have other pants or? Mm, I have the Xena outfit. I don't know what to do with. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. Mm, yeah. Okay, so I'm glad. Oh, again, we're on the same page. We're working. Yes. You want to utilize talented chefs for their art. I want to um, uh, utilize Salt Bay for being a cunt, and I want him to look like an asshole on youtube and speaking of which uh i'm gonna have to demonetize this so the first thing it has to be on the um whole thing is salt bay is a cunt and we're gonna see how much money it takes for him to just pour velveta sauce all over himself and just sprinkle salt on his stupid fucking bicep or forearm gotcha but but your idea is good too that they, they'd probably make good food i think that'd be fun I think it a hundred percent, a hundred percent of a super yacht just off, just off. Um, I mean, docked up on the, the private Island, um, which is a mill a week. Super yacht goes for, you can get some, I, I think there's some that are probably more expensive, like two or three. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, what I could find was like a mill a week. So, you know, you're looking at 4 million to have a super yacht set there. And then I want, um, to hire the guys that you can um, hunt wild boar um, from a helicopter, like an Apache helicopter um, with uh, they've got the still got the Gatling guns attached to it. So what I want to do is get. Um, I want to get those guys and we both get a helicopter and then we get to fly around and shoot the super yacht. <laughs> See how long the motherfucker sinks. That is the best use of money I've ever heard. I mean, that's easy. That's gonna that's gonna take some cash. I mean, we've already spent, but that's gonna that's gonna as long as the plume is next to Trump Tower, and then we also pay for the exhumation and turning that huge pile of shit into a coral reef somewhere in the Caribbean. See, okay, how about this? <laughs> the super yacht, we have him pull it right in. We we take it right through Lake Michigan. We put it right up the river, right next to Trump Tower. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and then we circle around like we're fighting fucking King Kong. And we're just... Right? Rap, rap, yeah. rap, rap, until that motherfucker... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, okay. That's going to be even more expensive. I'm, I dig it. I dig it.
Big. We're running out of our thirty million. I mean, that's we're gonna have to actually start to pick and choose. We're gonna have to budget. Okay, help me out here because we've got an entertainment budget that we need to look at. I okay, so I had another idea. Okay. I wanted to buy tickets to all of the billionaires space rockets that they send like uh, fucking Captain Kirk and everybody up into space. Yeah. But I wanted to buy out the entire thing and then but instead of me put just a dummy on it with a t-shirt that says XXX millionaire says fuck the environment. So it would be Elon Musk says fuck the environment and I would force them to show to the world how much money it costs to shove me into space when there are a lot of people who um, are hungry and uh, the fact that, uh, you know, there's no trees. That would be funny to me because mm-hmm. I know we're going down in flames. So I would just like to paint a big picture on it. Sure. There's a big, big swath on that. I'm in. I'm in. I think we, we should do that. Um, while we are watching that on an enormous screen uh, after blowing up a super yacht um, back on the private island. Um, we have entertainment. I've lined up some entertainment for us. So. Good, good. Um, for uh, a single... Remember, Taylor Swift is already on our G4. G10. Yeah, G, 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 or, she's on our G. Is She stays on the G4. She does not get to leave. No, just a bathroom. She'll be fine. Yeah, she'll be fine. She she's good. Um, our entertainment on the private island. Um, now we can maybe per week. Maybe we can only for a week. Um, I don't know. Um, but for each engagement, uh, it's up to up to. I I picked the highest number. Uh, we're gonna have big bad voodoo daddy. Um, that's about. <laughs> That's a band you haven't heard of in forever. Everclear is about seventy four. <laughs> uh, Your budget spending, Big Bad Food, Everclear, yes, yeah, perfect. Uh, Parliament Funkadelic, uh huh, about one hundred and fifty grand. They're gonna worth everybody. Is what is George Clinton still alive? Plus at least another two hundred grand in drugs. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna have real big fish. Uh, okay. They're about 40 grand, and we're going to add the boss tones, the Mighty Mighty Boss tones, um, for 75 grand. And then the digital underground, uh, will play us out, um, as we as we are leaving the private island. I just want all around the world, same song, all the world. I just want them doing that as we all shuffle out onto the, the private jet. Um, actually, we're not going to be shuffling out. Because we will have um, everybody on that private island will have their own McLaren Spider that they can, that we've rented. <laughs> okay, so that we get just we're just gonna drive them around, and if we want to play Mario Kart, we're gonna do that, and if we want to just run them into the ocean, we're going to do that. Uh, okay, but we have to rent them though. We can't own them. Right, we're renting. So if we rent them and throw them into the ocean, technically at that point we've owned them. No, because we have to pay for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. What are the rules? Okay, well, you know what? You're right. You're right. So we'll just uh, run them into each other right before we leave. What? <laughs> Same question, but it's a ridiculous question. We're not, we don't buy like, it. They have insurance. If they're just, uh, okay. right. they're just fucked up a little bit, they can cash in the insurance, and we're out the money. That makes sense. No, 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 no. It makes oh. sense. It, none of this makes sense, but it makes total sense to me. Harold Faltmeyer to play um, the Axel Foley theme song wherever I go, starting from day one. I forgot about that. <laughs> you got so specific. I wish I would have had more time. I would have had more specific jokes because I have very general ideas. <laughs> um. Okay. Here's my next one. Okay, ready? Yeah. So uh, along the same vein of having. Uh, professional chefs, both to insult and to enjoy. Mm-hmm. We need to hire um, just people, just like and pay them a very nice wage, because uh, you know, just at the end of it, 
we have no assets. It just it fits the um, uh, the parameters of the competition. So I'm thinking we need uh, personal security. Mm -hmm. So my idea is an entire military. Um, I would for about five million, you can get a battalion of several people, and I just I I feel like I can get them to bomb something. Such as something that displeases me. Like munitions are expensive. Yes. Yeah. And renting the people to fire them is, is very expensive. So this solves the parameters of the thing. So if I have a couple of bucks left over, I'm going to rent a mercenary battalion and have them bomb something. Okay. Aggressively. Are they are they gonna help us with the yacht? Don't care. I get to wear a fancy hat while they do it. Oh, I excellent. get to wear a hat and a sash. A sash that of, that of my own making. This seems like what dictators do just entirely. So I'm already going to like hold court and now I have the military to bomb something. Okay. I feel like I can step in and really make a make a go of this. You can make a difference. Oh, definitely a difference. Oh, definitely a difference. Um we are going to uh I don't know what day, but you and I are going to uh to rent uh the largest um stretch limo that we can find it's gonna be hard I, my schedule is full i'm bombing something <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna make room on your calendar for that very good and we're going to um i think the more i've thought about it i think we're going to try to uh to hire ian mckellen to be our <laughs> to be our own personal hobson and then you and i are going to dress exactly like arthur and drive around new york and um, ask uh, hookers which one they find. Uh, which one is the more attractive? Wait, no. Which one of you finds us the most attractive? Most attractive. Hobson, give her friend thirty six hundred dollars due to inflation. She came in second. Second. <laughs> and we're going to do that for two days. We're just going to do that for two days. Uh, we will um, get a a suite. Um. And then leave. Do we leave the limo or no? I mean, like, do, we, do we pee in big gulps? No, we'll... I'm fine with it. I actually kind of want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's more of a challenge, you know. We get that much kind of that yeah, money. We're gonna rent like a suite and just keep dumping hookers into like the fanciest suite in New York while you and I stay at like a Hampton Inn just for the fuck of it. <laughs> what are you doing, dumping hookers into the Hampton? <laughs> Why? Because we've got a schedule. No, we stay at the Hampton. They get to freak out the the, <laughs> the important people. I don't think that I understood the idea of this game because I didn't get specific. Because my next one is just like advertising. I get if I need to blow the last bit of the money, I'm going to buy advertising. We have 30 days. Hopefully, it's during the Super Bowl. Um, and if because those ads are fucking ridiculous, but it's literally just me and you in our underwear on a couch from the seventies, eating potato chips. Going, we would like to show you us slowly eat chips, slowly drink beer. Thanks, and that's it. What as long as it takes to blow four or five million dollars. Yeah, um, I w I'm going to rent David Hasselhoff. You're renting men. You your your whole thing is slavery. You're like, hey, 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 how much are your people worth for your time? That, that, that was where you. That was your. That was your whole thing. Your was, whole thing was renting. They didn't get paid. God damn it. Your whole thing was slavery. You're like, I'm gonna make these bitches dance for me. That's <laughs> all you were doing. Give ha Hasselhoff at least two million. They just follow me around and occasionally 
super pursuit mode kit and then jump on my back while I run as fast as I can. <laughs> God, that's it. Your whole thing was like, how much do these people cost per day? Let's make them dance. I want to humiliate chefs. I want to humiliate. I want to humiliate one chef. <laughs> you don't think. One oh, chef. By He's the a way, dickhead. for our chefs, we're going to buy 10 Wagyu cows. <laughs> yeah, and- okay. And twenty lambs, and just have, and just ensure that everyone gets gout by the end of the month. <laughs> I don't. I, th- I think we've run this into the ground. Do you feel like? Yeah, we- I do. We, a, you gave me a gentle forever, and we took it to- totally different ways. Like bomb everything. I'm gonna do my best to control. I would say a small country. I'm going to get Anthony Hopkins or, or, Ian, or Ian McKellen to pretend that they're my butler. I want, hold on. Who, who on, on your whole thing, who the fuck have you rented? Guy Fieri, David Hasselhoff, fucking uh, 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 Nicholas Cage. How many human beings have you decided to rent? Hasselhoff, uh, McKellen. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, d- All the chefs. There's like 10 people you want to rent. Not to mention the bands. Because, <laughs> like, Big Bad Voodoo Daddy, the Parliament Funkadelic, and and the Mighty Mighty Bostones, and Real Big Fish, that's like 150 people amongst them. God, good for you, because all you want to do is pay people. I feel like you're renting human beings, and all I'm doing is like, ah, I just want to blow shit up and watch shit burn. You know, it's it's kind of telling. It really is. Like, I just want, I want to rent these people to do silly things and then have them, oh, rent people. I forgot we're going to have a private nurse um, and one of those uh, services that just follows us around with IVs that cure hangovers. Oh, yeah. Those come in um, in vans now, and that's probably good. It's just like B12 and like electrolytes. But then we're also going to have a nurse that's like on hand. It's just like, um, you're gonna die <laughs> like yeah probably. maybe an er nurse and a cardiologist as well i mean that's all we're gonna do it you know so all right pal what did we learn today uh we learned that you like to rent people <laughs> sure do your goal, your goal in life is to own and have enough money to make people do things for you yes my goal in life is to have enough money to go i would like to blow you up <laughs> Belize, goodbye. <laughs> but no, no, it seems Belize seems fun, but there's a lot of places that I just think we could do without. Disney World. Oh, he, oh, that reminds me. That was the other thing. I'm gonna find. I don't know, but I'm gonna find out how much it costs to fuck Mickey right there at Disney World. Depends on who's in the suit. Hmm. <laughs> parts about hanging out with these guys. God damn it, son of a bitch, motherfucker.